In truth, Rowan, yours was the closest of all. Why, Valiant, you sound surprised. As if I never win. It's more like you never lose. And I, for one, am beginning to be bored by it. Oh, what was that, my narrow-minded prince? Hmm. Valiant, come with me. Alas, duty calls. And let's hope it doesn't call for much skill with a blade. Baron Duncan Draconarius has admitted the killing and explained that it was an accident. But Derek, King Ian's aide, is dead nonetheless. Now Duncan must pay for his crime. Valiant, I have chosen you to escort Duncan to Kengari. To meet whatever justice King Ian sees fit to dispense to him. I'm not certain that I'm the best choice for this assignment, Your Majesty. It is not for you to pick and choose your commissions. I only meant that there is a certain amount of bad blood between the Baron and myself. I have given you a command, Valiant. Yes, Your Majesty. You were hard on him, Arthur. Perhaps. But he must learn not to let his personal feelings cloud his judgment. We can be honest with each other. Valiant is not the only one who has no love for Duncan. It is not those who lack compassion for him who worry me. Guinevere, please, come in. Understand that I have you to thank for this room. You did not deserve the dungeon. Your crime was an accident. True. But the man I was when I committed that crime would have murdered deliberately if he had felt the need. Oh, Guinevere, I've been such a fool for so many years. But you've changed, have you not, Duncan? You are no longer the man you were. I hope not. I only pray I have the strength to remain changed. Baron Draconarius! Prepare to... Excuse me. My apologies, Your Highness. Chains, Valiant? What is the need? It... It, it is a necessary precaution for the journey, Your Highness. Journey? Where are you taking him? The King did not tell you. The Baron is traveling to Kengary. To face my punishment for the death of King Ian's advisor, Derek. I suspect I am already a dead man. Merlin, by sending the Baron to King Ian, are we, in effect, sending him to his execution? Do you not believe he deserves to die? I believe he deserves to be punished for the wrongs he's done. But it is the severity of the punishment that worries you? I don't know. Perhaps. King Ian is a hot-tempered man who rules by the sword. Yes, I know. And there is much in life that is open to change, Valiant, if men of courage and vision are willing to risk their own comfort and well-being to do so. When you arrive in Kengary, you could try to make Ian see things differently, to find a way other than death in which Duncan can pay for his crime. Oh, that would be an almost impossible task, Merlin. It could be. If I were suggesting it to a less extraordinary man... King Ian may well refuse to listen to me. That's certainly possible. And in that case, Duncan will die. Captain of the Guards! Yes, sir. Is the company ready to depart? Yes, sir. Dispatches from Kengary. Things in Ian's kingdom have gotten worse, much worse. Did you expect them to, Your Majesty? I am Ian! I am the Warrior King! I do not tolerate rebellion! Order the execution to proceed. As you wish. <sighs> oh, Derek. You would have found a way other than violence and bloodshed. My God, how I miss you. 
miss you. So, you want to fight, do you? Rebellious swine! A full-scale civil war has broken out in Kengary. Island is riding into a most dangerous situation, Merlin. Perhaps we should have warned him. You cannot temper steel without fire, Arthur. True, Merlin, but even steel can be consumed if the fire burns hot enough. Magnificent. Yes, it reminds me of the forests of my youth. We desire no conversation with you, Duncan. Can't we at least be civil? The journey before us is long and hard. Don't look for pity from me. I seek pity from no one, least of all from you. Scoured the area. There's no one to be found. Odd, isn't it? You'd think every farmer for miles around would be here fighting this fire. Yes. It's very odd indeed. A warrior's arrow. Hi, laddie. And who might you be? I am Valiant of Camelot. Camelot, eh? That's a long way to travel alone. I am not alone. Is that so? Well, the way I see it, you might as well be. So now, Valiant of Camelot, what is your business in Kengary? That is not your concern. Under the circumstances, I'd say that it is. <laughs> Wait! There's no need for a battle. Get back in line! He's escorting me to King Ian! Baron Draconarius, get back in line! Draconarius! You know of me? As does every man in this kingdom, you filthy murderer! You were right, sir. Some farmers told me the whole story. Civil war is tearing Kengary apart. Because of me? That's impossible! Duncan, it seems that you have spread misfortune like a plague. The kingdom of Kengary is a union of two clans. King Ian is a Culhane, and Derek, the man you killed, was a Monroe. When King Ian returned from Camelot without avenging his death, the Monroes revolted. And threw the kingdom into the throes of civil unrest. People are being killed, crops destroyed, villages burned. And I am the author of this misery. Yes. And now every warrior in Kengary will be looking for us so they can get to you. Then we must turn back. I have a sworn duty to deliver you to King Ian, and I intend to let nothing stop me from discharging that responsibility. For one so young, Valiant, you have a remarkably hard heart. Far. I should be able to find him quickly. Valiant, please, let us go with you. No, he's mine. Why was he so insistent on going alone? I don't know. I've never seen this kind of anger in him before. No 
matter what happens, Valiant, I shall probably never leave Kangari alive. I have nothing to regret and certainly nothing to lose. On the other hand, you, my young friend, have a full life ahead of you. I suggest you reconsider your actions. No, Duncan. I want to deliver you to Ian. You deserve to pay for your crimes. To pay for killing Derek and for the villainy of putting a price on Rowan's head. Simply because you refused to marry your worthless brother. Start back now, boy. And you might just make it. We are both going back. There's no sign of them. Perhaps we should find a way down. Search the riverbank. I'm afraid it's no use. They couldn't have survived the fall, could they? No. We'd best return to Camelot. on to King Ian's castle. You're insane, Valiant. You don't even know where we are. I have a map. And as long as I know where the sun sets and can see the Northern Star, I will find King Ian. What are you doing? This way, my slippery friend. I won't have to watch you day and night. Where I go, you go. We travel north. You're the one with the sword. You would be wise to remember that. Can't we stop, Valiant? We haven't eaten all day. Perhaps we can get something to eat in there. Perhaps. What is it? See for yourself. Oh my god! Obviously, on the wrong side of the Civil War, you started, as was he. Enough, Valiant! What's wrong? No taste for the fruit of the seeds you planted? I would do anything to undo this evil. But yet, your one desire is still for escape. It is hardly the way to trap game. I suppose you know a better way? Tell me, Duncan, where does a baron learn the skills of a poacher? A title doesn't always come with wealth and property, Valiant. Now be still. It seems you're a man of many talents. Valiant! Those badgers are meat eaters. This could become infected. Uh, your concern is touching. Now, let's go. Let me see your hand. Ah. This has to be attended to. Must continue on. You're burning with fever. You'll never make it. Uh, we continue on. I, I'm afraid that you're not going anywhere, my young prince.
chances are you won't last until morning. This will draw out the infection. But only if you rest. escaped, Duncan. Why did you come back? I might have escaped you, Valiant, but I could never escape the memory of what I saw in that cottage. These will bind my wrists, but not as strongly as the chains of remorse which bind my heart. Thank you. So, with my father having squandered the family fortune, my youth was spent on a small farm not far from the Kengari border. It was the one holding my father had left to his name. How I cursed the fate that cheated me of my birthright. I vowed never to be in want again. I too lost my birthright, Duncan. But I've learned to make the best of it. To do otherwise would be to allow bitterness and hatred to consume me. Now we'd better go. You're still in great danger. It's just some monks. Nothing to worry about. Exactly, Duncan. Nothing but harmless monks. Perhaps they can lend us a small measure of help. The place is under siege. Valiant, you're mad. We can't just walk in there. Brother Duncan, you're a man of little faith. Tread carefully, Duncan. Every man in this camp would like nothing better than to kill you. How reassuring. Shouldn't King Ian be on the walls, leading the defense? He hasn't been himself of late, I'm afraid. Your Majesty, we have just arrived- people thought I was a hero. And I too believed it was so. Then Derek died. He was the one who held this realm together. Without him, no matter what I have tried, everything has fallen to pieces. And now so many good men are going to die. Your Majesty, I have a plan that could end the war with only a single death. Pray tell, Friar. What might this plan be? And it is understood that both Ian Culhane and Malcolm Monroe shall, by personal combat, decide the victor in this dispute. Let the trial begin! I hope this works, Valiant. Don't worry, it will. As long as Ian wins. No one defies the king, Malcolm. No one! Your Majesty, wait! Let him live, Your Majesty! It is the only way to bring peace to Kengari. If I die, know that another Monroe will be back, Ian! Sword in hand! And should King Ian die, another Culhane will just rise in his place. And another, and another, till we've defeated every Monroe that comes against us. This man speaks the truth, King Ian. If the violence in Kengari doesn't stop here and now, 
and it will only stop when every grave in the land has been filled. Tell me, what now would satisfy the Monroe honor? The death of Derek's murderer. That is something you cannot have. The man remains in Camelot. Your Majesty, you are mistaken. He is here in Kengary. Impossible! King Ian, I am the Baron Duncan Draconarius. I freely admit to killing Derek of the Monroes. I also tell you his death was an accident. But if it will bring peace to this kingdom, I surrender myself to you, to death, if necessary. I do this because I no longer believe in violence and rule by the sword. I do it because it is right, and because I believe in the new order, the way of King Arthur and Camelot. It is time for the fighting to stop, is it not? Yes. King Ian, he is yours to do with as you see fit. So, your punishment has been decided. You're to remain the rest of your life in Kengary. After causing this kingdom to rip apart, the least I can do is spend my days working to keep it whole, and perhaps helping to bring it closer to Camelot. <laughs> Ian is a clever man, having you replace Derek as the royal advisor. I'm going to miss you, Valiant. This is a good thing. You have been given a new life, Duncan. Yes, and I shall make the best of it. I believe you will. I believe you will. <laughs>